when I wears my flashing sword and my hand takes hold on judgment. I will take vengeance upon mine enemies. Now what kind of impact do the coils have and the springs? You can see that my coil uh, cores are a lot thicker, a lot. All right, that's just because I was experimenting and these are super duper thick iron cores. You see that spark? It's not good, okay? You do not want that spark. That has to do with, where's it at, where you at girl? Uh, I wrapped you, okay. Has to do with the capacitor, but mainly right now, it's gotta do with the setup. My setup's absolutely wrong for what's going on here, and I wanted to show you that on purpose. This is what you're gonna get, okay? What, what would I do right here in this case? Alright. There's no way I'm getting anything out of that. So, what do I have to do? Okay, first and foremost, look at that front spring. That, you can tell that's rolled, right? Well, I've got that uh, um, O-ring underneath of my spring. Well, first, let's try that. Process and of uh, elimination works well in these cases so let's troubleshoot this let's switch cameras and go through first rule of fight club is we do not talk about fight club second rule of fight club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Third rule of Fight Club. Someone yells stop. And his limp taps out. The fight is over. Fourth rule. Only two guys do a fight. Fifth rule. One fight at a time, fellas. Sixth rule. No shirts, no shoes. Seventh rule. Fights will go on as long as they have to. And the eighth and final rule. This is your first night at Fight Club. You have to fight. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. What? Welcome to Fight Club. Now, uh, I can't show you, um, I don't have a tripod. I did, I can't find it. All right, set it up um, and, and be showing you. I'll get one soon, don't worry. Getting some McKesson. Uh, a and D, that's what I'm going to be using through the duration of this tap. Um, I'm going to fix some of these on the bottom of my caps. Okay. And that's going to keep it in place in a sterile environment with the foil. But it's going to keep my caps in place from sliding. You've probably seen these on a couple of other videos, but this is the way to do it. Um, I'm going to slam it down. Now, I'm going to have <clears throat> my solid black here. And let's move that, and I'm gonna have my white highlights here. I have one, two, three, four, five chino. This is good shit. One, two, three, four, five in this case, because there's not a lot of gray wash. I'm gonna break down the gray wash. So I'm gonna have one drop, two drops, four drops, six drops, eight drops, okay? And the rest is gonna be broken down with witch hazel at this time. This, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the duration of this on top of a cup and use that and I'm gonna grab some more. I'm gloved up, I'm sterilized, ready to go. 
themselves into having a DMT trip. Yeah, no doubt. To open up that gland. Yeah. That's the whole thing I do. So right now he's dropping color and um, he's using the dragonfly for that. So basically the whole time with color is going to be with the same machine. But we're talking weight has a big thing with it, consistency, less voltage use, less trauma to the skin. You could, you could tell where a rotary is going with it. And look how nicely he's setting those colors. Yeah. They're in, they're done. You know what I mean? Awesome, I'm getting a call, hold on. Okay, so right now before we uh, start sanitizing the workspace and area, I've gone ahead and I've marked symmetrical variances and and tattoo placement so what i've done is not in this position but i've made them uh relax pretty much arm side and straight out so that we're going to be doing sort of like a portrait so this is going to be the face in the middle of the nose and it's going to extend so i actually took a ruler and measured the length that i want because i have to get my stencil placement so with this i'm going to have the cutoff point and the cutoff point i'm doing that in sharpie uh so that i can build up reference on that the middle point is going to be two and two because it's four total and then we're going to extend on each side dotted lines indicate the cross referencing zones and uh, the actual symmetrical placement on the body as far as tattoo placement on the body very important that you guys do this practice this make sure that we shave it up and that the uh, skin pores are open reason for shaving number of reasons number one uh, it opens up the skin and the pores because with hair the pores will not open up. We want the pores opened up to accept that ink. Um, so we shave. And also the hairs will have an impact on the needle, skipping over that. You don't wanna be cutting the hairs and one line skipped, boom, I have a bald little tiny spot which is gonna impact my solid or whatever it is. Shaving is very important. Get those uh, rinse and wash that down with hot water, open up the pores. When you're done, a little bit of cold water, close the pores after the tat seal on that ink. Um, we'll start getting this and I'll show you what we're doing. How are you feeling? So good, dude. How are you feeling? circle it a little bit get that in there and edge that in spread it not too much and be advised this is this is on top of the hand okay so we're dealing with you know a lot of different texture here okay um, as far as that's concerned all right and I don't want to wipe too much I just want to make you sure you got the outline done for that part yeah I can't even feel it, dude. Yeah, well, I'm probably gonna run back over it, but, you know, uh, it's gonna be a little light. All right. You feel me on that? Mm hmm I just wanna make sure that I can get everything in. Um, this is gradient, so I'm gonna go around in here, okay? All right. Fill this in, in here, okay? That's all right, dude. I don't really need to focus on too much dimension on the line because it's going to be. I'll be shading. Yep. I'm packing a lot of fill, so we're not really. I'm gonna fill it, okay?
and see where his tendon is, I'm gonna go ahead and move that this way so I can have proper stretch inside the part that's not. Okay, and right here I don't wanna mess my stencil up so I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. And when we're good, there's at least a little bit in there and we'll go back into it. This is all gonna be fill. Okay, so check my reference. Okay, and this is going to be black up into this, and this is open, and this is going to be black in here. Okay, so 